All right, what we're about to do is our uh, shielded metal arc welding 2G vertically fixed pipe. Uh, with pipe welding positions, they typically refer to the pipe position rather than the weld. So for 2G, you're talking vertically fixed pipe, your pipe is going vertical. If they're talking horizontal, you're going horizontally for your 1G and your 5G. Uh, we started out here with uh, 6010, 332nd of an inch at 69 amps for our route. Uh, the video was very hard to do. We um, got some good shots, some weren't so good. We're going to put the good ones on there and probably redo this one at some point. Um, after our 6010, which we got uh, with 330 seconds of an inch, it took four electrodes to get around it. We got a good shot on one of the electrodes and partially on the other, so we're going to put that in there. Then we did our hot passes, uh, 718 eighth of an inch at 119 amps. The uh, hot pass covers up your root, kind of blends everything all together. Then we went to our cover passes. Uh, our third pass is on the bottom, and you want to use it as a shelf to hold up the fourth pass. The uh, thickness of the pipe that we're doing is 3 8 It's pretty thick stuff. Depending on how thick it is, how many passes you're going to need. We did a total of four passes here. And then your convexity allowance is again eighth of an inch for your face and eighth of an inch for your root. So hopefully this, uh, we got some good shots that will actually help you out. Alright, we're uh, about to start our uh, 6010 passes. It's 330 second diameter 6010, regular 5P. We're going to run here at 69 amps, direct current electropositive. You want your uh, machine, uh, this is a Miller, it's going to be on stick panel and off on your high frequency. We're running the 6010 and then we'll switch it up and do the 7018. We're about to do our 6010 root pass on our 2G uh, horizontal weld. The pipe is vertical. Second uh, pipe pass we're going to do here. The uh, root is open about a little bit, right around the 16th of an inch. We're going to try and plunge this thing through. Uh, very little manipulation, just walk it right around and then we'll go into our 7018s. All right, this is a common problem. I just did my first 6010 pass, and you can see this tack right here broke. It didn't spread out very much, so I'm just going to fuse it back in with a TIG welder. But if that happens, sometimes you have to clamp it back together with a C-clamp or something and suck it back together because your fit-up is uh, essential for this to work out well. My second pass here, I'm going to start here let it get established and when I get to the keyhole I'm gonna plunge it back in and keep going We just got done with our second 6010 pass. Uh, again, we're going to start back here and then plunge it into the keyhole and keep going. It's come out pretty perfect so far. We're probably going to end up having to use four electrodes.
This is our root pass. Came out pretty good. There's a couple of spots that could use a little bit of improvement. Beautiful. We're gonna strike our arc here, kind of in the middle for our 7018 hot pass, just one pass. We're just gonna blend in all our six to 10. We're gonna be angled up slightly because it's gonna to wanna to drip. We're gonna go around, just try and get right in the middle and get this pass as much in the middle as possible. You don't really need to worry about uh, leading or trailing angles. It's whatever you're comfortable with. This, this flux is gonna naturally wanna go down anyways. All right, we just finished up with our hot pass, so we're gonna go to our covers now. All right, we just finished our uh, first pass of the covers for 7018. Makes a nice little shelf in here for the next pass to go on top of it and finish this baby out. Just finish up the cover passes on our uh, 2G horizontal pipe weld. Came out pretty good. We did uh, one pass with 6010. We did a hot pass with 7018 and then two over that. She looks pretty good. <laughs>